The critical part of the roof technology consists of a patented drive system. And with that drive system you can make a platform of different size by varying the distance between the rear and the front wheel system. It's a technology that is a combination of car and train technology. So roof vehicles are electric vehicles and they are using a monorail. What's important for a dual mode system is that the vehicles have to be able to change from road driving to rail riding at 30 km per hour and that is both for the car and for the public transport vehicle. In order to be able to access the rail, the drive system can be open before it enters the monorail. When it's on the monorail, the drive system will close and squeeze the top of the monorail. The vehicles are magnetically guided to enter the monorail and that makes it possible with a special probe to have multiple directions in the switch which is normally not possible in a rail system. But here we can have different frequencies of the magnetic field and make the vehicle follow the frequency. So we can choose among different rails in the system. When a vehicle arrives to the monorail, before it enters the rail there is a structure in the road that makes certain that it will enter the monorail correctly. So these wheels are now touching and now the monorail appears and now the motors close on the top of the monorail so it's completely stable and it can levitate the vehicle so the road wheels are hovering in the air. The motors in the roof system consist of wheel motors. There are two different systems, one on the left side and one on the right side. And they are separate so that no differential is needed in the system. And also because the, the motor is directly coupled to the monorail, there is no transmission loss when you are on the monorail. One very important factor about the drive system is that the drive wheels can press against the monorail with an adjustable friction. That means when you don't need friction, you are driving at constant speed, the pressure is low. When you suddenly need to accelerate or to climb a hill, you press harder against the monorail and you have the friction you need to accelerate or to climb. So the consequence is that we can optimize the rolling resistance. And since the wheels that are carrying the vehicles can be smooth, we have a very low rolling resistance in total. The reason why the support wheels can be smooth is that we have a special rail brake for emergency braking. It uh, squeezes the top of the rail in the rear of the vehicle and pulls with a force which is just behind the center of gravity. So the stability of the vehicle is perfect. Unlike on a road where the force is coming from the front wheel and the vehicle can become unstable during braking. These basic technologies have been tested uh, at a test track in Denmark and we have made proof of concept on most of the technologies and we are now looking to expand the test track.